Come on, get in there. Mm. I'm hungry, Berman. Mm. Berman! <laughs> That's good. That's good stuff. I didn't know I could cook so well. Maybe I should open a restaurant. Well, actually, I cooked that for you, Andy. Did you ever think about that? An Andy Dick theme restaurant with my good cooking and my good-looking celebrity friends. People love that crap. Yeah. You could help me start it. Oh, my God, Andy, I would love to. But you're flying me out to Newfoundland tomorrow, remember? Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, I do. I do need you to do that because I need my whale soap. Of course. Get my phone. I need to make some calls. I want to get on this All thing. Right. Okay. Get my phone, yeah. Berman! Hello? Buddy, what's up? How you doing? Who is this? Andy Dick, buddy. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. I got a fantastic idea. Andy Dick's Tinseltown Chow House, a theme restaurant. Okay? My name on it, Andy Dick. We're going to use your money. Bro, I, I can't do it, man. Look, I only need 300000 to get it up and running. You're a backstreet boy. You can pick that out of your ass. Oh, I got. I gotta go. Bye. No. Wait, 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 wait. Buddy, stop eating. Real quick. Look at this. I have a surprise for you. You're gonna love it. Ta-da! Got my eye on you. I got my eye on you. So do a good job, or you're out. Come on. Put this is opening night, people. Put on your happy face. Put on your Andy Dick happy smile. There we are. Good. And get ready to get fired up and work your minimum wage asses off, dude. Who unplugged the refrigerator? All the food's gonna spoil. I did. I, I had to plug the TV in to watch my stories. Okay, this is bullshit, dude. I quit. You can't quit. You're my cooker. Okay, I'm a chef. You you can't quit. There's a 10% discount on the on the on the appetizers. Come on, you're my friends. You know what? I don't need you. I can run this whole establishment by myself. I'm not here to screw around like some of these guys. I just want to be a wrestler. And I want it so bad, it makes me want to weep into a little tissue. Rufus needs to chill out. He's all like, I want it so bad. But so do I. I'll wrestle anytime with anybody. Well, except that one guy with all the, you know. Well, my modeling career was kind of slowing down. I guess there's a little bit of a backlash against hot guys like me. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> so I figured, why not learn to wrestle? You know, it's so much fun. Plus, I get to work with the professional wrestlers. I don't know. I just like it. I like to get down and rub on somebody, <laughs> wrestling wise. <laughs> For this move, you got to really get in your opponent's face. Do I have any volunteers? Yeah, me. Pick me, please. Anybody else? Anybody? No, me. I'm the only one raising my hands. <laughs> and plus, I really get to show off my athletical ability, because I am pretty athletic. Hey, buddy, you want me to spot you there real quick? That's right, kid, I got it. No, I'm a real good spotter. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Come on, you can do it, buddy. You're, you're a tough guy with a big crew cut. Come on, lift it up. Lift it up. I got you. I'll help you out there. <laughs> the bar's so greasy, that's so weird. <laughs> You should try and do that all by yourself, I'm telling you. I think the most funnest part of this whole experience for me is getting to know some of these awesome people that I'm training with. They're just really great. Between you and, and, and the zitster here, I think some of those women might like me. <laughs> Anyways, I was in the jacuzzi last night for a couple hours, and when I got out, there was this oily film on top of the water. It looked like... Like, like a vinaigrette dressing or something like that. That's not cool. So I think maybe we should call a house meeting because it's not cool to eat salad in the jacuzzi. It's, I, it's not, go, it's not yeah, cool. Not you know, cool. it leaves like oil on it by the water. That's just not, it's not cool. Let me tell you what it takes to be a wrestler. You need brains, brawn, and balls. And I'm thinking about adding something else to that list. Benzoyl peroxide. Today we're going to work on the most important aspect of wrestling, being able to take a fall. Oh! 
Well, I must be getting tougher every day because everybody seems to be afraid of me when I get yeah. in the rig with them, yeah. which is a good thing. So I'll touch you! Listen! Get them off me! Get this thing off me! I think I might have a shot at getting that contract tomorrow. Man, I hope I can sleep. I'm so excited. That's why I'm going to have to use my homemade aromatherapy oils. It helps me relax. I just pour it right on my pillow there. I'm pleased to announce the winner of the female pro wrestling contract, Vunya! And the male winner is Rashi Magoo! Yes! No, that's not fair. What did you try to pull here, mister? I, I won that contract fair and square. Look, son, we made our choice. Sure, you're both a little frightening, but Rashi's a better wrestler. No, I won that contract fair and square. You did not. I, I obviously was a better wrestler, not him. By any means, I was a better wrestler. Uh, I was pretty good, kid. Damn straight, because I'm tough enough. I am tough enough. Ugh. I'm tough enough. I'm tough way more than enough. <laughs> Coming up next. How you feeling? <laughs> Pretty crappy. <laughs> Pretty crappy. You still got it. Still got that old anus sense of humor. Thanks Listen, a lot for coming. Hang out a little while though, all right? Oh, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'm fine. not giving you any money. I don't need your money. I just need you. I need this Good. pretty face no, right cool. here. Can you sit here? I'm gonna get you a drink, okay? On the house. Actually, half price, because you can afford it. <laughs> okay. Right. Lights. Perfect. No, don't do that. Yeah. This is a little weird, isn't it? No, it makes your eyes pop. It's good. Hang on a second. There you go. And stay like that. And do the little smile. Okay. Looking good. Hey, welcome to Andy Dick's Tinsel Challenge Chow House. Kevin, hey. How are you, man? I'm a really big fan. Oh, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, that's what you're going to see here at my restaurant. You know, celebrities everywhere. You got Kevin there, Backstreet Boy. You got me, Andy Dick. I'm not a Backstreet Boy, but I'm Andy Dick. Who are you? <clears throat> Never heard of you. Welcome to the meal that is also a show. You like rice? Ho, 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 hey. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, no, 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 don't touch. Ho, 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 da. Aya. Oh, ah. Ho, 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 You like it spicy. You like it spicy. You like it real spicy. Like a new. Piping hot. Be careful, hot plate. Ta da! Little brown ring. Brown ring, you're all stopped up with meat. You know what? This chicken tastes like floor. Oh, well, I'm not your waiter right now. I'm your entertainment, oh, so okay, that's it. talk to your waiter. <laughs> this restaurant sucks. What? We're leaving. Come on, let's go. No, you can't no, leave. I got no. this sucks. Okay? No, you don't no, have to tell me. Go. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you don't have to tell me. I'll tell you. I'll tell you to shut your stick and pie hole. This is all because you wouldn't give me the money you promised me. I didn't promise you. Wait a minute, this bill is for $42.50. Hey, you, you owe me $42.50. You accidentally wrote a note that says, die, Andy Dick, die. He was my friend, my mentor. When I was young and naive, he gave me wisdom and inspiration. And now that he's dying, I've been visiting him every week for one final lesson in how to live. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Look, I, I got your card. This will cheer you up. You're never too pooped for friends. Like me and you, right, buddy? How you feeling? Pretty crappy. <laughs> Pretty crappy. You still got it. Still got that old anus sense of humor. Wow, thank you. Thank you for making those treats. You know I love these. Mm. A little bit tangy. Ooh. What, did you have duck sauce for lunch? That's good. 
Yeah, I know. Last time we were talking about relationships, what, what, what were you saying? <laughs> right. I can love, but I don't allow myself to be loved. Ain't it the truth? <laughs> well, no, Thailand doesn't count, because that was all on my credit card. <laughs> You know what, I think it's getting a little beefy in here. Nurse, can we open a window or something? Hey, Andy and Anus, I brought you your lunch. Now, I know the doctor said no more fiber, but I had a change of heart and I brought you some prunes. Change of heart, or do you mean a change of fart? <laughs> See, I still have it too. No, I meant change of heart, that's why I said it. Yeah, I know, he is an ass. What, you know what, nurse? Lady, uh, Anus and I would like a little private time, if you don't mind. Fine. Thank you. Oh, and, um, by the way, are you eating out of his bedpan? Yeah, and? Oh. Anyways, Anus, I'm never gonna forget you. I mean, come on, we were a team, right? Anus and Andy, right? Please, please don't go, Anus. Nurse! Nurse! Please don't die. There's so much to learn. What? One more piece of advice. Yes, yes, tell me what. Stick to the highbrow stuff. I will. Oh, I will, Anus. My little pop party. <laughs> Nurse, can I get a refill? Please. If you like Drew Carey's improv show, Whose Line Is It Anyway? You're going to love Andy Dick's improvogasm. Is it my turn Thank yet? Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to Is It My Turn Yet, the new improv show that features three seasoned professionals and a slightly rusty and somewhat desperate Andy Dick. Let's get our pretendy make em up started off right away. Uh, can I get a location? Uh, how about inside a grocery store? Grocery store, great. No, I got grocery one. How about inside my ass? <laughs> we have grocery store. No, yeah. but ass is funny. Why should Andy Dick come up with an original idea when we can enjoy him knocking off someone else's? Metal arms. Metal arms. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, a man with metal arms. It's robot, dude. Ow. I'm out. See. No, I'm not even gonna bow. Why does there need to be more than one improv show? Well, why does there need to be more than one kind of breakfast cereal or medicine? Because it's fun. Typing on my computer in my ass. What the f is that, a creaking door? Why would that be in my ass? I'm sorry. I mean, come on, I can't work with this. Uh, look, I can't work with your ass. I mean, it's ass this, ass that. It's ass everything. And scene. Should be Andy ass if you ask me. I have one chance on television, and you it up, dick. Is it my turn yet? Where the only people having more fun than our live studio audience are those crazy characters on stage. The answer this summer is yes, America. It is your turn. Your turn to have a great time with Andy Dick's Is It My Turn Yet? How about if we do a scene about my ass? What a commercial, dude. Coming soon to MTV. And scene. Xbox. Only one new gaming system brings you the best action. Xbox. The most radical titles. Xbox. And state of the art fit mapping. Xbox. The all new Xbox. The only new system that comes with this personal endorsement. If there's one thing that I love, it's video games. And renting the bowels of lost souls. I love that too. But video games are right up there. So, if I'm willing to put my mark on a new system, you know it's gotta be good. Come on, I'm Satan. It's cooler than greed. Better than gluttony. And hotter than lust. Sure, I just surrender myself to the Dark Lord, guaranteeing me an eternity of unspeakable suffering. But the graphics are awesome! Ah! The S-Box, 
only six sixty six, so everybody can have one. Salvation not included. Coming up next. With the help of my new spiritual advisor, uh, I think things will be okay. This is Yogi Shiresh Mahesh Maha <coughs> Tinklestein. Okay, look, I'm a businessman, okay, a restauranteur, and I gave you a ground floor opportunity, and you crapped on it. My, my ground floor is covered in crap. Screw you, Andy, okay? It was so great to yeah. meet you. Oh, thanks. I, listen, I'll tell you what. Why don't the three of us go to a real restaurant? Excellent. And I'm paying. Great. Great, right. let's go. Yeah, great, great. All right, thanks for nothing, buddy. You know what, you are a backstreet bitch! This night couldn't have gone any worse. Excuse me. What do you want? I'm a food critic for an important newspaper with the power to put this restaurant out of business. And I have never had such horrible service in my entire life. I'm sorry. But I happen to love bad service. It reminds me of dining at an authentic European bistro. Really? Eight stars for you, Andy Dick, and your wonderful Tinseltown Chow House. Wow, eight stars. This place is going to be the hottest new restaurant in town. It is? Hooray for me! Can I, please, can I have everybody's attention? Gather up here, please. You probably know this already because I know you're, you're all a bunch of gossiping bitch ninnies. But I, I just want to let you know that my girlfriend and I did break up officially, okay? I know that you're all probably heartbroken, but we're going to get through this, okay? We're going we're gonna to band together. We're, we're, we're all going to... And in fact, with the help of my new spiritual advisor, uh, I think things will be okay. This is Yogi Shiresh Mahesh Maha <coughs> Tinkelstein. You can call me T. Okay, good. Uh, please say hello to T, everybody, please. Okay, great. Thank you. See, that is exactly what the f I'm talking about. Calm right down, there. dude. Breathe in and out. Now go to your special place. That's a good idea. Not that special place, the other one. Okay. Sunny, sunny, fun times, happy, happy clouds. You know, I can't, I'll be in my room, I gotta snap one off. Bob Gunnarsson's House of Cox, take one. And action. Uh, this is a boy of a fancy cock. Cut. Um, uh, what are you doing? Yeah, what's going on? The feng shui is all wrong in here. Oh, okay. Well, what do you, what do you need? Pull the desk back three feet. Okay, you heard him. The the kung fu's all wrong, so let's, you know, help me move the desk. Are you and I think we should move the camera over there. It's not good for Andy's heart chakras. Okay, you heard that. Let's let's get the camera over there, because my shaka Khan's f***ed up. You know, I'm gonna be in in the in my trailer. Okay, meditating. <laughs> ah, this is good stuff. All right, good. Real funny. We're finally on the same page. This is a good. <clears throat> Actually, that's not gonna work for me, um, because. Yeah, <clears throat> it sucks. Ass crap. Yeah, but you just said that. I don't care. Funny. I don't like this one. And also, can you please write something to put tea in? Because he's trying to get a SAG card. Something I can really sink my teeth into, like a very bad cop. Yeah, yeah. bad cop. That sounds good. Oh, yeah. You'd be good at that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll get right on that, Andy. Okay, good. Hey, can we please shoot this thing? Because I got a change yeah. meeting in like 10 minutes. Come on, you're the director. Let's get this thing moving, please. Andy, this is a Daphne piece. Why aren't you just like Daphne? Because. We I... decided that costumes are clouding Andy's aura. Yeah. And by aura, he does mean testicles. They're clouding my testicles. Son of a bitch! Hey, Andy, do you think I could talk to you privately? Uh, anything that you say to me, you can say to T, okay? Okay. T is a shameless ass biter and has to get the f out of here immediately. We hate him and want him dead. Uh, I don't think you understand the peace of mind that having a spiritual guru has given me. Okay, T is, is probably the most important... Hang on a second. Hello? Oh, baby, I know. No, we were both wrong. Well, no, you, yeah, you were a little wronger, but I, I think we can work this out. I know, I miss you too, I love you. Okay, bye. That was my girlfriend. I guess, I guess we're getting back together. You're fired. You can't fire me, I'm your guru. No, I don't, I don't need a guru if I have my girlfriend. That's how it works. See, I, I hired you when I was like freaking out. I'm gonna be in my room. Y'all need some production assistance? 